in this video let us look into uh, what is an angle first of all to start off with let us have a ray or a vector oa so let us have a ray oa or a vector oa i mean since it's got a direction now if this ray rotates about its end point o you know if it, if it rotates about its end point o and takes the position say ob say it it just rotates like this and then say it takes the position ob all right then we say that an angle AOB is generated. This ray OA is rotated like this. Now, once the ray OA has taken the position OB by rotating like this, by you know moving, then we say that an angle AOB is generated. So, thus, let us uh, quickly define an angle. Let us try and understand an angle in a proper explanation, in a definitive sentence. So it says an angle is considered as a figure obtained by rotating a given ray about its end point. Exactly what we did here, right? It is considered as a figure obtained by rotating a given ray. The given ray was OA and it was rotated. The rotation of, you know, in a particular direction is not really important because the same ray OA, say for example, if this is a ray OA, it could have also been rotated clockwise and, you know, we could have ended up like this. OA, it could have again been like this, you know, in this direction. Nothing wrong in that at all. It's just the rotation that matters. Which direction? Well, it doesn't matter. Of course, there are different kind of angles with different rotations, but well, if you need an angle, rotation is all that matters. Here is a definitive explanation about an angle. So let me read it again for you. An angle is considered as a figure obtained by rotating a given ray about its end point. So O is the vertex here. So now another thing now that we've explored or, or now that we've looked into what is an angle, now let us see what all this means. I mean, what are these lines called? They all have names. So let's see what are they called as. So if you see this one, the revolving ray is called as a generating line of the angle. The revolving ray is this one, you know, the one in between every time it moves. So that's called as a generating line of the angle. The initial position OA. It's called the initial side. So let me write here. This is called as the initial side. And yeah, before I go to the next thing, let me mention here the revolving side. The revolving side is called as the generating line of the angle. OA is called as the initial side. And then the final side, that is OB, that is called as the terminal side. It's called as the terminal side of the angle and the end point about which the angle rotates or about which this line rotates to form an angle this point o is called is the vertex of the angle this is called as the vertex of the angle so this is a very simple explanation of what is an angle so this is all you need to know as far as an angle is concerned what is an angle well this is the answer here this is an angle a line OA, if it rotates around, if it revolves around, it's, you know, its vertex to form another side, which is called the terminal side, then you can say that angle AOB is generated. So this is angle AOB, or it can also be called as angle BOA. This is also angle AOB, and it can also be called as angle BOA. So the point where the angle is formed comes in the center. You, you know, you can't call it OAB. You have to call it angle BOA or angle AOB, not OBA or OAB or anything else. And here it is angle AOB or BOA again. So this ends this video about the angle. And in the, in the next video, let us look into the measure of an angle. Like how do you measure an angle? What are the different ways of measuring an angle? So this concludes this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts about an angle.